A free trade zone FTZ, is a specific class of special economic zone. They are a geographic area where goods may be landed, handled, manufactured or reconfigured, and re-exported without the intervention of the customs authorities. Only when the goods are moved to consumers within the country in which the zone is located do they become subject to the prevailing customs duties. Free trade zones are organized around major seaports, international airports, and national frontiers, areas with many geographic advantages for trade. It is a region where a group of countries has agreed to reduce or eliminate trade barriers. Free trade zones can also be defined as labor-intensive manufacturing centers that involve the import of raw materials or components and the export of factory products. Free trade zones are referred to as foreign trade zones in the United States. Foreign Trade Zones Act of 1934. In the United States, FTZs provide customs-related advantages as well as exemptions from state and local inventory taxes. In other countries, they are called special economic zones or free zones and were previously called free ports or export processing zones. Free zones range from specific purpose manufacturing facilities to areas where legal systems and economic regulation vary from the normal provisions of the country concerned. Free zones may reduce taxes, customs duties, and regulatory requirements for registration of business. Zones around the world often provide special exemptions from normal immigration procedures and foreign investment restrictions as well as other features. Free zones are intended to foster economic activity and employment that could occur elsewhere. Farrell, Akinchi, ed. Special Economic Zones, Progress, Challenges and Future Directions, World Bank, 2011. The world's first free trade zone was established in Shannon. Ireland Shannon Free Zone. This was an attempt by the Irish government to promote employment within a rural area, make use of a small regional airport and generate revenue for the Irish economy. It was hugely successful, and is still in operation today. The number of worldwide free trade zones proliferated in the late 20th century. In the United States free trade zones were first authorized in 1934. Corporations setting up in a zone may be given tax breaks as an incentive. Usually, these zones are set up in underdeveloped parts of the host country. The rationale is that the zones will attract employers and thus reduce poverty and unemployment, and stimulate the area's economy. These zones are often used by multinational corporations to set up factories to produce goods such as clothing or shoes. Free trade zones in Latin America date back to the early decades of the 20th century. The first free trade regulations in this region were enacted in Argentina and Uruguay in the 1920s. The Latin American Free Trade Association LAFTA, was created in the 1960 Treaty of Montevideo by Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Mexico, Paraguay, Peru, and Uruguay. However, the rapid development of free trade zones across the region dates from the late 1960s and the early 1970s. Latin American Integration Association is a Latin American trade integration association, based in Montevideo. Free trade zones are also known as special economic zones in some countries. Special economic zones, says, have been established in many countries as testing grounds for the implementation of liberal market economy principles. Says are viewed as instruments to enhance the acceptability and the credibility of the transformation policies and to attract domestic and foreign investment. In 1999, there were 43 million people working in about 3,000 FTZS spanning 116 countries producing clothes, shoes, sneakers, electronics, and toys. The basic objectives of EPS are to enhance foreign exchange earnings, develop export-oriented industries and to generate employment opportunities.